The sounds were familiar. Attendees at this year's Great American Beer Festival were back in their rightful place, waiting for the doors to open, or in this case, the rope to drop. I am very excited. This is our second day. We came Thursday night. It's been three years since beer enthusiasts made this walk to booths where this year 2,000 different beers were on offer. The pandemic put this iconic Denver Beer Fest on hold in 2020. Yeah. 40,000 folks celebrated its return on its 40th anniversary this past weekend. Honestly, I think it's just a matter of people coming together that love beer and are just here to have a good time and try new things from all over the country. Construction in this giant exhibit hall and the financial challenges of breweries that might have set up shop here otherwise helped downsize the event this time around. This is a smaller, more intimate gathering than in past years. An estimated 30% fewer brewers are pouring beer this time, but the variety of what they're pouring is still very much there. Willy-nilly, there is no strategy. All you do is just grab your cup and try not to drop it, number one. There's truly a style for everybody. And Oban Chain is with the Brewers Association, which puts on this festival, and whose members have been buffeted by a turbulent economy over the past few years. 36 of the beer industry's top 50 brewers lost money in 2019, ending years of extraordinary growth. Then came the pandemic, which caused many bars and breweries to close. Brewers then enjoyed a resurgence beginning in 2021, although it remains an uncertain environment. It's a mixed bag, you know, depending on the, the brewery model, the size of the brewery, the location of the brewery. Uh, a lot of draft sales are coming back at the brewery as people are going out more. I say if you want to create a small pile of money with a brewery, you start with a big pile. Clint Brown recently converted an old bank into a brewery in New Jersey. It's years out before you can make any money on a brewery between the capital expenditure of equipment, cans, canning equipment, employees. His passion makes his investment worthwhile. I spend most of my time in breweries anyway. You might as well be the owner. <laughs> that passion for craft beer was on full display here. The costumes, the pretzels, and the good vibes were all back under one roof in a venue that was retrofitted but never used as a field hospital during the pandemic. That was then. The mission is a little different now. The beer family, man, the beer family is really cool. Everywhere you go. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.